This morning, Bishop Thomas Tobin celebrated a special mass with displaced parishioners of a West Warwick church. He also announced a plan to help the long-term needs of local flood victims. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North has details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom now in West Warwick. It is the second Sunday after the historic floods, and St. Joseph's Parish pews are full with friends from a nearby parish. Sacred Heart Church is still undergoing repairs after it sustained serious water damage following the March floods. I know what a very difficult time it has been for many of you here today. During a special Mass this Sunday, Bishop Thomas Tobin invited parishes throughout the diocese to step in to help too, by asking them to take up a special second collection for those whose homes and businesses were impacted by the floods. It's a great example of Christian hospitality and, and service, very strong and, and very faithful. Since the floods, Catholic Charities of Rhode Island has provided more than $25,000 in gift cards and clothing for flood victims. And this weekend, St. Joseph's also provided clothing and other donations to local residents in need. It's very sad because I came when the water was way up. Parishioners from both churches are hoping Rhode Islanders will do their part on this Sunday. But in the meantime, as Sacred Heart Church continues to dry out, these local Catholics say they have been overwhelmed by the generosity and kindness of this little church on the hill. St. Joe's has been really wonderful to us. I mean, you couldn't ask for better. I mean, we are sort of close, but this makes us even closer because, you know, they open their arms to us. Now, flood victims in need of help can contact the West Warwick Catholic Charity. We understand that assistance will be provided as quickly as possible based on the urgency of need. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.